All right, so thought I'd do a quick video on the last minute uh, news and rumors for tomorrow's Apple uh, fall media event. I think the most important as far as uh, us nerds are concerned is that it's being uh, streamed live for the first time. This is the first Apple media event of this kind uh, to get actually uh, probably of any kind for Apple um, to be live streamed on the web. So very cool stuff there. Uh, some fun requirements. You have to have a Mac running Snow Leopard or better with Safari. Uh, no Firefox or Chrome only users need apply. Um, and also you'll be able to stream it uh, from your iDevice, your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or your iPad. So really cool stuff there for people who have never watched. I usually download and watch them afterwards because I'm a nerd. Um, but you can actually watch it live tomorrow as it's happening. So super fun stuff there. I will be in civil procedures, so I will not be watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, things that they're coming out before, like I've said, iPod Nano is pretty confirmed that it's going, well, it is confirmed that it's going to a very small three centimeter by three centimeter square uh, touchscreen only device, it sounds like, um, which really shouldn't be a problem on that small of a screen because it is only really for consumption. This is not an iPod Touch where you are um, maybe Facebooking or sending out emails. Uh, you're really only accessing music and podcasts and some video. So um, interesting there. It would be cool to see kind of what the features are, camera, storage, but the price is supposed to stay at or very close to where it is now. Interesting to see. Um, also, there have been rumors off and on about a smaller iPod Touch, maybe 2.8 inches. Um, be interesting to see. Uh, at the top of the line iPod Touch is getting a front and rear facing camera, pretty well locked. Um, also, pretty well confirmed that it's not going to get a flash. So, trade offs there, uh, probably trying to keep price down and differentiate between the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Um, other things, Apple TV, 99 bucks, um, limited onboard storage. It's really a streaming device. Um, and also content deals, supposedly Fox and ABC um, are entering with Apple to do a six month kind of experiment. Basically, Apple's gonna subsidize part of the cost of the TV episodes and offer them for 48 hour rentals for 99 cents an episode. So cool little content deal there. Hopefully it goes well. Um, also some iTunes stuff. iTunes is supposed to get maybe a minor uh, revamp, probably aesthetics. I haven't heard anything about iTunes 10.0, so probably nothing huge. Um, also the extension of iTunes previews. Uh, when you click on that little play button next to a song you want to buy and it plays a uh, preview. Currently it's 30 seconds. It's going to be expanded to 60 so you get a better idea of uh, the songs that you want to actually legally buy. And what else? Apple TV. Um, iWork, iLife may get an update, may not. Who knows? Um, they're definitely overdue because I'm still rocking iLife 09 and that's the most current version. But, um, yeah, maybe an update to Mobile Me. Uh, there had been rumors about a free version of the service. Um, would probably just be basic email accounts with limited amount of space. Maybe, well, calendar and address functionality. And maybe locate my iPhone, which would probably cover about 90% of people. Um, I use Mobile Me for hosting my small personal website. Um, but I think most people would get by with a, a version that did without, you know, tons and tons of gigabytes worth of server space. But very interesting, like I said, streaming live for the first time ever. For those of you with uh, Max running Snow Leopard and Safari, or if you have an iOS device, um, so hit it up. I think you can just go to www.apple.com at 1 p.m. Should have the links right there. If not, try Googling it. Should be super interesting. Of course, whatever Apple puts out is gonna sell like gangbusters. Um, hopefully we'll also hear about um, iPad, oh, iOS 4 upgrade details. 
won't be released tomorrow. They have to get the SDK out to developers. Probably will happen tomorrow. Um, because all the iPad app developers have to update their apps. Um, because there are some apps that are iPad only, and those people won't have updated them for 4.0. Um, just because the tools aren't really there, from my understanding. Um, and also, hopefully, we may hear about a manufacturing change to the iPhone 4. Um, it's kind of been reported from, I think, Mexican and Australian telcos that a hardware fix is coming. They are going to do something to slightly alter the design. Maybe we'll finally hear about a proximity sensor fix. I know my iPhone 4, if I'm on a phone call, there's a better than not chance that when I look at the phone, my cheek will have activated an app or done something. It's really a iPhone 4 specific. Maybe they just need to tune the proximity sensor. Um, I have a hard time believing that in Apple's testing, they, they didn't see that it was a problem, but maybe like the iPhone, you know, death grip issue, they decided it wasn't worth re-engineering. You just never know with Apple. They're very secretive and they don't always act logically, but Anyway, so fun event ahead. I won't be watching it. I will be reading about it and watching the recorded video. Um, and I'll post a fun video after that. So hope you guys enjoy. I'll talk to you later.